Okay, so macOS 13 release candidate 2 or RC number 2 has officially been released today to developers and this update confirms and puts us in sync with the previous update and also it brings us a step even closer to the official release that is just in a few days. Now, in this video, I'm going to be telling you all you need to know about this update and when you can expect macOS Ventura to be officially out. Now, for me, this RC two came in at exactly 570.8 megabytes updating from rc1 but the unpacked update size jumped to 1.42 gigs and this is just updating from rc1 now i have already updated my mac here and if we go into our system settings and go to general and go to software update you can see that my mac is up to date and it just takes a moment and you can see the new build number that we have here it's 22a380 so we now have a zero and that has been implemented just the last digits where we had 22a379 so that's the build number that we have you can see that today being october the 20th the only update that was released is mac os 13 release candidate number two released on october 20th there is no ios 16.1 release candidate nor is there an ipad os 16.1 rc or a watch os 9.1 rc most of these updates i will update you when they come out so definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now let's look at the new changes that are here when it comes to our update mac os 13 release candidate number two so the first new thing that i have to mention that comes with this update has to do with the preparation time that it takes for this update compared to rc1 or even beta 11 or beta 10 this update is way way faster i did the calculation and it took about four minutes to be able to do the preparation and restart and begin the installation that is way way faster than what i experienced on beta 11 and beta 10 so it just goes to show that this update is going to be coming out pretty soon now i previously had an issue when it comes to my notes especially the locked notes so you can see here for example this one that i just opened the wish list of some of the things that i want to do this one is a locked note but you can see here that the things are showing or the tasks that i have are actually showing so if i go to the one on top here that has a star you can see this one is not showing for some reason so it seems to have partially fixed this issue but it's still there and uh, it's just an update that i thought i should give you i'll be sending feedback to apple pretty soon about this and hopefully they can do something about it now also when it comes to the update for mac os so if we go to the apple page right so we can open up any like uh, browser and then go to the apple home page and go to the mac os section here and you can see here it does mention mac os monorail or mac os 12 but when you click there you can see that this page has been updated with mac os 13 or mac os ventura and you also see the release date when it's going to be available to the general public this is when you can just download this update without being on a public or developer beta and everyone is basically going to be able to update on monday i'm going to do a long form video that will highlight all the new features and changes that are here with mac os 13. now while we are still here in safari the safari version or build rather has been updated so if we go to safari here let me just do that again and go to safari you can see the build that we have here it's um it has been updated and now on rc2 we have 18614.2.9.1.2 and previously on rc we had 18614.2.9.1.2 dot one zero so only the the last one zero has been implemented by two 
two places and it went from a 10 to a 12 so hopefully it means better browsing and also when it comes to some of the web page crashes or hdr video issues that you're experiencing hopefully this fixes most of those issues for you now that's a good update also you probably saw that now apple has officially made this belkin iphone mount with magsafe for mac officially available on the apple website you can see here it's available for about 30 dollars you can get it in black or you can get it in this other darker color and you can see basically how it looks here on the Mac so it's pretty good something you can get if you're going to be using continuity camera on your Mac and that brings us to the biggest newest change that Mac OS Ventura introduces and that is continuity camera so if I open up my launch pad here and open up FaceTime just give it a moment to load and you can see me what's up guys uh so now that you can see me you can see that the video is coming from my i from my mac that you see there so if i try to do this you see the camera now tries to cover that so i'm going to take my iphone 14 pro that you see here and then i'll put this device on the agronomic hinge where my mac is and then i'll go where it says video and you can see automatically it auto detects before you actually even select the iPhone so I didn't actually have to click anyway and this is a change and an update before on the previous rc and on beta 11 you actually had to physically select your iphone that you want to use as a, a webcam or as a camera on your mac and that's a good update and also something that's here that i wanted to show you if you go on this section here you will see some of the changes that are here so center stage uses the wide lens on the iphone so if i switch it off you can see that my video quality gets like way way better and this is because it uses the main sensor on the iphone 14 pro and all these new features or video effects that you have like center stage portraits and studio light and desk view are not supported on all the series of the uh, iphone that you might have so for example i do have some notes here for just basic continuity camera or features to be able to work you need an iphone xr if you have an iphone x even though it supports ios 16 that's not a feature that you're going to be enjoying and then also for features such as desk view and also such as uh stage center stage you need an iphone 11 or later and when it comes to studio light you need an iphone 12 or newer so that is just an update here i did do a whole video where i tested most of these features when it comes to uh continuity camera and handoff a lot of people had issues with those and i did a full length video i'll leave it in the description of this video just in case you know something that you want to check out and it is working for me and i also highlighted some of the supported devices too now the next new feature of mac OS that i have tested and that is working more smoother and the transitions between windows or tabs and application are way smoother this is working for like even web pages where you might be playing a video in the background like like youtube and so on so center stage is polished as well when it comes to this update that is a plus and it's something that you can always test out if you are on the rc2 what you see here are the geekbench 5's performance scores when it comes to rc1 that you see here on the left hand side and then this one is rc number two so you can see here when it comes to single core for rc i got a score of 1366 on the rc2 i got a score of 1363 so it's lower just by three hardly something that you notice but when it comes to multi-core surprisingly on rc number one i had 8508 but on rc number two i have 8433 i did both of these tests without anything running in the background so it could be that maybe i needed to do more of a test to be able to get a multi-core score on rc number two that's somewhat closer to rc number one but other than that that's the performance that i have on this update expect macOS ventura to be officially out on monday and 
i'm going to be covering it like i mentioned and you're going to soon be able to enjoy some of those new features and changes that are here like stage manager and also some of those other features like continuity camera as you can see my phone just switched so that's about it for me if you like this video do leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace